So the national anthem for Algeria. As you can see, some of the fans of the desert boxes have made the trip uh, down here to Nigeria for this match. And we now the Nigeria national anthem. rendition of the Nigerian national anthem, the Super Eagles taking on the Desert Foxes here in what should be an absolute cracking game. The officials out on the pitch as well. I'll tell you about them more in a moment. Starting lineup for Nigeria. Apeyi in goal. Echejil Omorio, Egong, Balogun, Obi, Mikel, Moses, Ichiancho, Onazi, Iwobi, and Etebo. The starting 11 for Gernot Rohr, the uh, German coach of uh, Nigeria and Algeria. An experienced lineup. Minjani, the captain. Slimani, the Leicester player, in the lineup, of course. Mboli in goal. Coached by George Leekens, the Belgian. Those are your starting 11s to uh, open up this Group B match. The second round of fixtures in this uh, African Confederation uh, qualifying campaign on the road to Russia and places at the World Cup. So kickoff now, just minutes away, ladies and gentlemen. Nigeria and Algeria, a much-awaited clash and a crucial game in this group. More important probably to the Algerians they really could use three points to haul themselves back into the race. Nigeria have got that win under their belt after beating Zambia in their opening fixture. So the pressure is on the Algerians, it must be said. And also, they're playing away from home in front of a partisan crowd here at the God's Will of Pabio International Stadium. The two captains, Mr. Gazama is our referee from Gambia. And uh, he will be the man with the whistle this afternoon. Good conditions, the temperature about 27 degrees Celsius, so very mild and uh, balmy. As the linesman check the goals, make sure everything's in order. But again, don't almost kick off. We'll show you the watch out. Uh, you guys find, you, you guys find, I, and Boli takes his place in the Algerian goal. And the Nigerian fans, I'm sure there'll be plenty of brass instruments around the stadium as uh, if you, if you Nigerians Google, Google, like to uh, Nigeria add a bit of flavor Algeria, to the atmosphere with like, their uh, trumpet playing and like trombones and all kinds of different instruments then just click as we get set for what should be a classic African He's encounter not like super clay, between two of the clay. giants. In the world of African football, of course, both these teams it, it says have some, World feet. Cup experience. Something feet, yeah, something feet. Although Nigeria. Um, What's you see? There's uh, Gernot Rohr, the no, uh, if, if Super you see Eagles coach, born don't, don't in Mannheim, West Germany. Out. Former player with Bayern Jim Munich, Jim also Jim had a stint with uh, Bordeaux in yeah, the he, French under, League and tell, tell me, tell went me on to coach me. Bordeaux. He's coached uh, several clubs and countries during a, a veteran career. As uh, We get set then for kickoff. Mr. Gassama, no, he's our not referee, one, so. George Leakins, feeling the pressure, looking on the Algerian coach. And kickoff now almost... Upon no, us. It's supposed, it's supposed After all speech. the build-up, all the anticipation, it's time yeah. for football. 90 minutes, three points at stake to the winners, one point for a draw, nah, nah, and there'll nah, be nah, no nah, points nah, in nah, case nah, of nah, defeat. Yeah. My nah, live stream, maybe down the way in the Russia. Right, 
referee checking that everything is uh, just about ready to go. Prayers being said by both sets of players. Hold on. Checking his watch. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. it. Yeah. And we're underway then. Nigeria the kick off playing the left to right in the green, green strip, the all green colors. Algeria in the white shirts, white shorts, and white socks with green trim. Okay. And uh, this Group B encounter that's so valuable to both these countries is underway. Be so with you. <laughs> All five groups in Africa will be in action this weekend. I think, I think maybe don't I've mentioned you, three of the groups, uh, the last of which was the Ivory Coast. Uh, what? <laughs> leading Group C with uh, three points, Gabon, Morocco, one each, and Mali on no points. Group D, Senegal pass, lead pass, the pass, way. Pass. They're playing today, uh, or they played earlier today no, no, like, at like South Africa. Cape Verde play yeah, Burkina I, Faso. I Senegal won their opening game. Three points, South Africa won Burkina, Burkina Faso won Cape Verde nil. No, I'll this. give you that Africa Senegal result no, shortly no, and one finally one in group E as an early throw in from the Algerians is blocked in the penalty area huh? and a stiff challenge yeah, goes in there from Belkarui to break up the play the Algerians a hard tackling team group E well today Uganda defeated the Congo so Uganda currently top of group well, E on four points. Case. Egypt on three. Egypt play Ghana to tomorrow Drossel. in a blockbuster. Drossel. Uganda topping the group on four after beating the Congo. Congo two defeats from two games. That's your general wrap up of all five groups in Africa. There's another early foul takes place down the left wing that time. Brought down is uh, Branimi. With a couple of minutes on the clock, just clipping his ankles there was Victor Moses. Moses is the in back today. Long looping throw towards the penalty Lucky. area. Nigeria. Just loft the ball into the air. A player has gone down carrying a knock, but back on his feet. It looks like uh, Balogun, the central Ew. defender. Algeria win it back on the right wing, trying to get something going down that right flank. And they will settle for the throw in. Taken short. Chance for the cross, it's intercepted. And Nigeria will be able to clear the ball. Out of midfield. Oh boy, as I did, I did, I did watch one advert on TV where they talk say, they did talk say, oh, what if you can you can have two front lines? Side flag one? goes up. They talk say now magic. See, some two we don't they do for Nigeria since. Both teams we, we still feeling their way into this scene. game, neither side. Double same phone. <laughs> they call yet into their rhythm. And Settle down just yet. Nerves will play a factor. There's plenty of adrenaline rushing around the bodies of these uh, players despite the experience on the pitch. Nigeria take the free kick short and will try and work their way out of defense. On the right wing now for Omaru can cut inside there by Moses. Nigeria trying to block play. Moses plays it towards the edge of the area. The shot's blocked. First attempt really at target. Nigeria win it back. And the game's starting to open up suddenly in the fifth minute here. midfield just clip downfield Nigeria win it back and the fans enjoying what they're seeing so far Nigerian fans that is 
As here they come again, the Super Eagles. African champions appeared at the World Cup in Brazil. And looking confident in these opening stages. Oh, the feet of Omario again, he goes backwards. The whistle's gone. For an infringement and a Tebo will take it. Or in fact, he leaves it. Number 20. Just over five minutes gone, nil-nil here between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Desert Foxes of Algeria. Nigeria also played at the World Cup in Brazil and gave Germany a real run for their money, taking them to extra time in the second round before finally losing that game by two goals to one. Nigeria, not quite the organized team they were for that World Cup, but now under new management with George Leakins in charge. Oh, given away, that's a bad giveaway. Vote Moses is on the run. Victor Moses comes into the box, cuts inside. Oh, oh he's missed the goal. What a chance for Nigeria. Victor Moses almost taking advantage of a defensive mistake. Did everything right. It was his wrong foot. But he skipped past the defender. Cut inside. The ball was bouncing to be fair, but still he'll be disappointed with himself. What a chance for Nigeria to take the lead. And Algeria are let off the hook on that occasion. Fantastic chance for Nigeria, the best chance by far in the game so far, and that will be a warning to the Algerians. It will be, and the Nigerians unhappy with that decision to award the throw in to Algeria. to life with that chance from Victor Moses almost an early goal for the Eagles Nigeria still yet to really get into their stride in this match trying to string passes together that time it's out of play again Nigeria at the moment. Long way to go in this one. Nigeria first appeared at the World Cup in 94. And they got to the round of 16. Repeated that achievement. In uh, 98 in France, beaten by Denmark in the uh, second round. Went out in the group stages in 2002 and didn't qualify in 2006. We're back at the World Cup in South Africa in 2010 when they went out in the group stages, and as I mentioned. 2014, they went out in the round of 16. 
in Brazil. So good pedigree for the Nigerians. Three-time African champions. Won it in 2013. I said the, the, they're the defending African champions, but that's in fact the Ivory Coast. Apologize for that mistake as Nigeria win a free kick on the right wing. Mboli in the Algerian goal on full alert. It's taken square across the face of midfield. The flag stays down. No, it's up. The flag comes up. They looked offside. Algeria. And, uh, good looking lineup. Slimani of uh, Leicester in the team. Nabil of Schalke. Boli plays his club football in Turkey. Algeria go back to their goalkeeper. Just pumps it downfield. Again, Nigeria win it back. And, uh, been the stronger team so far. Algeria not quite in the match yet. They are coming back from an offside position. kick given away it's a bit scrappy at the moment Algeria as expected uh, breaking up a lot of the play Nigeria though did get behind their defence that chance from Victor Moses who's on the ball there playing it back to Omeriu Victor Moses uh, enjoying a, a run in the Chelsea side at the moment under Antonio Conte, who's won a place in the starting lineup. After several loan spells with other Premier League clubs. Algeria, another sloppy suicide pass picked off there from Omerio into the defense there of ZT. Nigeria showing a bit more life at the moment. Not much support as that long ball is flicked in the middle into the middle of the park. Both teams. This is the captain, John O'B. McKell. Nigeria being pushed back now by Algeria and struggling to get out of their own zone. And they uh, decide to just ease the pressure a little bit and put it out of touch for a throw in. several players. Algeria win it back in the midfield area. Mahrez, one of the stars in this Algerian side. Another Leicester player. Number seven. That's a corner. Seems he's disagreeing, but the ball looked like it definitely crossed the line. It's 
So our first corner kick of the match. Left-hand side, Nigeria with four players inside the penalty area. Now to be taken near post and headed away. Nigeria win it back at the feet now of Echejili. Little flick into the box. Nigeria again controlling possession. Quarter of an hour gone. Nigeria yet to test the Nigerian goalkeeper. Daniel Agpi. Here's a long range shot and there's his first chance to make a save. Long shot coming in there from Slit. Slitty. Stoppage. Nigeria will push players forward. Floated towards the area. Series of headers. Referee calling it tight. Will be Mikel. Guilty party for Nigeria. Nigeria taking no chances. There's Islam Slamini. Crosses. He was still in an offside position, so he just let the ball run through to the goalkeeper. And pay. Algeria gradually working themselves into this game. Play. Chance now. No. Pass was poor there from uh, Gulam. Nigeria still have it. Good ball down the right. Into the goal area, and it just eludes everybody and runs through to Agpai in the goal. who might get a telling deflection there. Nigeria back in their own zone. Another almost giveaway. have eased the pressure at least for the moment Moses wins the three wins the throw in rather and goes down with a problem There's nothing malicious in the challenge Nigeria, ooh, almost worked their way through. A shot comes in and just wide of the post. John Obi 
McCall, not known for his goal scoring talents, trying his luck. So it's been Nigeria who have created the better chances so far. in Africa. The loose ball's given away. Nigeria might counter-attack. It's tough tackling at the moment. Referee allows play to continue. That's a good ball. Just too far there on the far side for Slimani. Plays it back towards the edge of the area. Algerian bench. Nil nil here in this Group B match, Nigeria and Algeria. Not sloppy. Nigeria, though, don't have a lot of numbers forward. Preferring to defend in this opening half for the time being. Not committing too many men forward, but there is, there, there was an opening down the left, but it closed off. Back to the green shirts. Dipsy doodling there. Again, it's Nigeria on the break. John Ubukal passes too far for Moses. Here come Algeria through midfield. It's a poor pass. Doing well there to keep it in was Slitty. Oh, it's almost a chance there for Algeria. Goalkeeper scrambling to get it clear. Whistle's gone. Giannaccio. Well, Nigeria have controlled much of this first half. Had the best chances as well. But it's still nil-nil. Are you ready yet to turn it up a gear? Right wing. Throw into the Eagles. Square through midfield. Pushed further out on the left. Crosses Bullock. Mikel finds Moses. Moses still going. Moses, it's a goal. There's the opening goal for Nigeria. Victor Moses has got it after the pressure finally paid off and Algeria have cracked. Nigeria 
go in front in the 25th minute and it's uh, no more than they deserve. They created the best chances. Algeria have looked shaky and their defense has finally cracked. Obi Mikel played a big role. Moses will get a yellow card for taking off his shirt. Not sure if he'll be too concerned about that, but Victor Moses points to the heavens and gives thanks. Yeah, veteran. Here he is. Poor mistake there. A very, very bad mistake by Belkarui, the number five, just giving the ball back to Moses, who had a second chance to open up a yard of space and then steer the ball past Mboli. 1-0 to Nigeria. And that will really put the pressure on the Algerians now. It's brought the stadium to life as well. Moses in the 25th minute. Arguably the best player for his team so far. Proving it with a goal. Brought down on the left wing. Let's see how the Algerians react to that. That's going to take the stuffing out of them a little bit. A defeat today would be a disaster. And they know it, but there's still time. No reason to panic. The one disturbing issue for Algeria is that they've been completely outplayed in this first half. And they've conceded the goal as well. Nigeria with another chance from a different position. Mboli beaten once already. Moses to take it. Good ball and punched up in the air by Mboli. Not quite cleared. Nigeria get it back. Omaru. Obi Mikel can't control it. I think it hit his arm. Handball. So a great start for Nigeria who have dominated the first half, get the opening goal as well. Bowley starts us off again. Flick through the midfield zone. Nigeria winning all the loose balls at the moment. Free kick. Oh, shit. Given to Nigeria. Who uh, appear to be enjoying themselves out there. <laughs> the pressure has shifted now to the shoulders of the Algerians. How will they react? Do they have the character to get back in this tie? Three again. Pulling it tight. Kasama, Mr. Kasama. Gambia. Clattering in from there was Slitty. Good play from Nigeria to open up some space in midfield John Obi Mikel out on the left hand side good ball and it's just ahead there of Hianacho and almost a second for Nigeria on the half an hour mark Mo 
Moses with the cross. The Algerian defense has looked shaky this afternoon so far. Fifty minutes to go. And that's where we stand. Free kick. This time to Algeria. Oh, 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 oh. having words there with uh, Cameroon and Zambia. Currently one apiece. Cameroon have equalized. South Africa beats Senegal 2-1. A chance for Algeria. Doesn't come to much. So a huge win for South Africa earlier today. Beating Senegal 2-1. South Africa go top of the group. Craig Verdi and Burkina Faso playing later. Given away again, and more mistakes from Algeria. Consistently giving the ball away in dangerous positions. Long, high shot, nowhere near the target. A table. Start us off again. European games going on this evening. Brazil beat Argentina 3 0 the other day in South America. Argentinians uh, have got work to do to wrap up their qualification for the World Cup. Force back Algeria to Emboli. Poor clearance. That's better from Algeria as they've got a bit of space on the left wing now. First support, good ball. Looking for the return there was uh, Brenindi, but didn't quite click. And uh, Daniel Agpei can calm things down. Victor Moses with the only goal. 25 minutes. Clear towards halfway. Nigeria looking dangerous every time they come forward. Good ball on the left wing. Challenge. No yellow cards yet in the game. And Onazi won't be the first. Here come the Foxes. Being outworked at the moment by the Nigerians. Cross towards the area. No free kick. side now. Nigeria playing with plenty of confidence. Echigili, the number three, brings it forward from the left 
wing back position. Iannaccio. Amorio. Nigeria finally win it back. Probing ball, the keeper. Agpai reads it well, comes out to clear. Inside 10 minutes in this first half. Algeria forced the turnover in midfield. Not much support, but going alone now. Oh, a chance here for Algeria. Oh, he's missed it. What a chance there. Oh, my word. Should have been buried by Ben Taleb at point blank range after some excellent work down the wing from Branindi. See it from this angle. Got past the defender. Flicked it into the middle. And there, right on the spot, was Ben Taleb. And he couldn't just place it past the goalkeeper. But that was Algeria's best chance of the game. <laughs> Referee coming back to an earlier infringement. So Algeria almost equalize. And Taleb missing a glorious chance. Nigeria charged down the wing. Nairobi, edge of the area, has given up. More space out there now. New side again for Brian Hindi. Good move on the left. For Gulam, it's up in the air. Dangerous. Half. Clear the shot. Oh, he's missed the goal. The Algerian bench can't believe what they're saying. Seeing some great chances that time, Marez of all people. He thought if anybody could hit the target from that range, it would be him. But he's missed it. So two great chances in quick succession. The goalkeeper was at sixes and sevens. The defense were all over. And Marez screwed a shot wide. So Nigeria survive. And ball. Two good chances from the Desert Foxes. into the back of Moses. Pace of the game slowing down here towards the end of the first half. Good ball, and he's run through the defense there. Iannaccio. Got through, but uh, Mboli was able to read it, come off his line and prevent the danger. Algeria looking for some inspiration, a piece of magic. They have had those chances to equalize couldn't find the target. Nigeria sitting off the Algerians. And that time the angle was too sharp to put it into the net there from Slimani.
play again. Right around the keeper, the angle was too tight. For the Leicester man, as we move inside the last five minutes of this first half. Nigerian half, this is better from Algeria. We've been outplayed by Nigeria. Moses works the one, two. Plays it down the right hand channel. Waiting for support. Back to Iwobi. Good ball. It's got to be offside. It, out. it looks like the goal's going to count. It's a goal. The goal's been given. John Obi Mikel is called onside. It's 2-0. I think everybody was waiting for the flag to go up, but it never came. Oh, hang on. Just a minute. The referee... No, the goal looks like it's going to stand. Yellow cards have been given out probably for debating that goal. We'll wait for the replay. It was played towards the area. Let's see it. Well, he's onside. The linesman has it right. So, I don't think the uh, Algerians have an argument. Everybody stood around and waited. Mandy, the defender, Isa Mandy, was the man who played Mikel onside, and it's 2 0. So Nigeria have broken the game open, and this really is a disaster now for the Desert Foxes. 2 0 down just before half time. A goal that caught everybody by surprise. Everybody waited for the linesman, but the linesman was exactly right. It was onside because uh, Isa Mandy was in line with John Obi Mikel. Mikel looked over to the linesman before he shot the ball. The linesman kept his flag down and Moses put, and Mikel put it in the back of the net. So this has been an ideal first half for the Nigerians. Two goals from Moses and Mikel, the two of their star veteran players. And Nigeria have a mountain to climb now. will be a huge blow to their chances of going to the World Cup there's still the full second half to come and the few minutes of this first half to play but Algeria need three goals to win and that's going to be a tall order Last minute of the 45. Haven't really had any injuries as such. And Nigeria in control at the moment. Nigeria looking for a lifeline. Before the break, out of play. Played square. We'll wait for the fourth official. One minute of added time. 
into the box. A chance here. And it's just escorted out of play. Slimani. Muscled off the ball there. It's been excellent. Iwobi, number 18 for Nigeria. So the dying seconds of this first half. Nigeria maybe with one last chance. Down the left wing. Here's the cross. It's loose. Shot. It's deflected. Corner. Are they going to let them take the corner? Looks like they will. Another good chance for Algeria, who really have created some super, super really great chances to uh, get in this game. That was another one. Mares with the corner. Driven low, flicked over. And there goes the half-time whistle. And what a half of football that was here at the God's Will at Pabio International Stadium. Victor Moses opened the scoring on 25 minutes after a defensive mistake from the Algerians. There's Victor Moses there. And then a goal that caught everybody by surprise on the stroke of halftime, John Obi Mikel. The captain left all alone inside the area. Everybody, including myself, was waiting for the offside flag to go up, but it didn't. It was the right decision. Obi Mikel was onside, and he put the ball in the back of the net to put the boys in green. The Super Eagles, 2-0 in front at halftime. George Lakins, the Belgian coach of us, Algeria, has work to do as we see the statistics. That one booking was Moses for taking his shirt off. And uh, possession, the big one. Goals, of course, the other. 2 0 Nigeria lead Algeria at the break. The pitch gets some attention during the interval. still won a piece late in that game so Nigeria as it stands will take a real stranglehold on this group if they can go on to win and two goals to the good here at the break Gabon later today. Morocco Ivory Coast in Group C. South Africa beat Senegal 2-1. Cape Verde play Burkina Faso. Also today.
So at half time here, Nigeria 2, Algeria 0 in Group B. Cameroon and Zambia won a piece late on in the other match in this pool. Second half action coming your way in a few minutes' time.
So then the teams come back out onto the pitch for the second half of this World Cup qualifier. And it's the Nigerians in complete control at the moment, leading two goals to nil, thanks to Victor Moses and John Obi Mikel. Two goals in uh, 45 minutes of uh, exciting action in this uh, Group B match here at the God's Will at Pabio's International Stadium. Algeria with a mountain to climb to get back in this one. Really are in trouble. And uh, everything to play for for Algeria now. Cameroon and Zambia finish 1-1 in the other game in Group B. So Cameroon now on two points. Zambia pick up their first point. Nigeria currently on six if they go on to win this game. And Algeria with just one point to show for themselves. We've kicked off then in the second half. Algeria playing left to right now in that white uh, strip with the green trim. Nigeria all in green. And Algeria will really have to go on the offensive and force mistakes, force goals, and get back in this tie. I'm Greg Fraser. Pleasure to be with you, bringing you coverage, live coverage of this match from Nigeria. As uh, World Cup qualifiers continue this weekend around the globe, including Africa, and plenty of action to tell you about. And I'll try and keep you posted on what's going on in the world of international football on this uh, qualifying campaign weekend. Nigeria, much the better team in the first half, dominating possession. Of course, they got those two goals to show for it as well, thanks to Moses and uh, John Obi Mikel, the two Chelsea players. And Algeria, despite creating some very good chances of themselves, unable to breach the goal of Daniel Akpi in the Nigerian uh, goal. George Lakins, the Algeria coach, uh, only recently took over. We're we'll feeling the heat now as his team uh, did not really perform to the standards he expected in that first half. Bit of a nasty challenge going in there, and uh, a table saying that he got the ball. As uh, Branimi was brought down. Had his legs taken out. I don't think there's too much argument about that. So, early moments of the second half Nigeria 2, Algeria 0. Nigeria how badly they could use an early goal to get themselves back in it. Swept into the box and half clear. The shot is blocked. Nigeria bring it away. And the thing is now with Algeria pushing players forward, they've got to be careful not to get caught on the counter attack. The ball swept left for Iwobi. And that time, Iannaccio couldn't control it. Left wing now for Brahimi. Earlier today, South Africa defeated Senegal by two goals to one. Big win for uh, the Bafana Bafana. Winning 2-1, Cape Verde and Burkina Faso uh, kicking off uh, anytime soon. Mali and Gabon coming up later, as well as Morocco and the Ivory Coast. That's a big game taking place in Morocco. Those two games in Group C. Group A will, uh, as Nigeria, oh, Moses is hacked down there. Clear free kick. Tunisia beat Libya 1-0 yesterday. So Tunisia climbed to six points. Guinea and the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo played tomorrow. The Congo on three points after beating Libya in their opening game. Guinea on no points after losing to Tunisia. 
So Tunisia at the moment in control, but the Congo can move level with a win in Guinea tomorrow. Free kick then to Nigeria after Moses was hacked down there. No doubt about that foul from Ben Taleb. So with just under Bentaleb getting booked for that as well. Hasn't been a dirty game by any means. Referee from Gambia, Mr. Gassama. Long free kick, it's over the bar and wide. And uh, no threat there to uh, Mboli. We didn't really have much chance on the two goals. In the first half, we see that free kick again for the top left-hand corner. Play broken up. Referee coming over to talk to Ben Taleb, who just picked up a yellow. Victor Moses involved as well. Temper is flaring a bit with uh, so much at stake. Remember, only the group winners from these five pools go through to the uh, World Cup in Russia in 2018, a, a long process of qualifying in the African Confederation. That's a good ball, it's onside. Algeria might open up something here. Coming forward, looking for the charge. It's bouncing loose and no penalty given. Nigeria bring it away. Algeria almost got their opening goal. Moses at the heart of everything for Nigeria. Mikel. Here they come, the green shirts of Nigeria played square and just cut out in the nick of time. Slitty picks up the loose ball and second half as expected in most Football matches, a more open affair. Again, oh, there's still a Nigerian down as Algeria attack. Play continues. Still Algeria coming forward. They're ignoring the injured player. And finally, it's put behind. Play will be stopped for the injured Nigerian. Uh, Onazi. Who will need treatment? So is that chance? Put behind there by Balogun. As Onazi gets treatment. For a, uh, it's like a ankle or shin problem. The magic spray comes out. And, uh, not sure this will take him out of the game, but he's being taken off the pitch anyway. As the Nigerian fans enjoy themselves here. Uh, so far it's going perfectly to plan for the Super Eagles three time African champions corner kick is easily defended Nigeria take the throw quickly it's out to the goal area good work from Akpei to gather that loose ball Nigerian substitutes warm up. Perhaps uh, Gernot Rohr, the uh, German coach, will make some changes. Down the right wing. Crosses affected out of play.
Nigeria take the free kick. Playing with more urgency, as you'd expect. They, they need goals. No foul there. Making a run is uh, Moses. He won't catch up with that. Stoppage at the moment as the referee wants to talk to Mares. Back underway. Ten minutes gone, second half. That's how we stand. Over the top of the defence. Good work to cover there by Balugan. Nigeria have it back, playing better in the second half. Win the free kick. of Algeria responsible for this. Everybody grouped around the top of the area. Low cross headed down and wide. Corner. Bit of surprise about that decision, but it's a corner to Algeria. Keep some pressure on the Nigerian goal. Long way to go. Two goals is by far insurmountable. By far not insurmountable. In Algeria, no. An early goal in the second half. We'll put them back in it. Here they come into the edge of the area. Looking for the cross. Can't. Here it is. Near post. Oh, it goes through a crowd of players. Still loose, shot wide. Algeria just can't take advantage of their chances. Slimani thumps the ground. Just been one of those days so far for the Desert Foxes where nothing's gone right. off the outside of Stamani's boot who's trying to rally his teammates and drum up some momentum here. They have started brightly in the second half but nothing to show for it so far. Nigeria have retreated into more of a Defensive formation, looking to protect this two-goal advantage. Sensible thing to do. Can't thread the th pass through there, Slitty. Algeria have it back with Mares. Moses, good defensive work. Nigeria just waiting for the Algerians to come at them and force a mistake. Cross is half cleared. Edge of the area. Here's the shot. Oh, it's wide and high. But it was, uh, there was plenty of space out there for Algeria to set that one up. And the Nigerians have maybe, as is their nature, can have a lapse in concentration. Discipline not always their forte, and this is a moment where they do need to maintain their shape and discipline, and not uh, let Algeria back in the game.
Nigeria playing it through midfield. Shots on, it's wide. Never a threat, really. Alexander Iwobi. Just about an hour gone in this game. Cameron and Zambia finished one apiece. that will suit uh, Nigeria. With neither team picking up maximum points there. Cameroon uh, currently on two points. But uh, if Nigeria go on and win this game, uh, Nigeria would have a four-point lead at the top of this pool. Another booking. Mandy, Isa Mandy. Rose is brought down. And Boli. Nigeria with a free kick on the left wing. Four green shirts inside the penalty area, two just outside. Poor kick from Moses. Nigeria win it back. Free kick given. the table so another free kick from a similar position and again it's Victor Moses who will take it higher and deeper Nigeria half clear now Nigerians gone down in the box and play stop for the injured player Looks like it's uh, Omaru, the uh, defender, possibly with Cramp. Here's a look at the goals. The first half, Moses with the first defensive mistake from uh, Belkarui. Romario struggles to his feet. Looks like he'll be okay to continue. This was the second goal. This was a bit of an odd one. Everybody thought John Obi Mikel was offside. The replay showed that he wasn't offside. And he just put the ball in the back of the net. 2 0 Nigeria. That's how we stand. Again, win a free kick. And, uh, 
Ahmed Johnny. Double over John Obi McCall. Former in this uh, Nigerian team. Near side ball for Moses. Given away. 25 minutes to go. Still 2 0 Nigeria lead. Substitution. Uh, Abdulahi Shehu coming on. And uh, a chili. No, it's Omaru who's gone off. The, the player who picked up that knock. So the first change of the match made by Nigeria. Nigeria block it. Given away. Nigeria looking for a way forward. They got a man on the left. Side to switch it back into the middle. Shot, oh, what a goal! Algeria are back in the game. An absolute bullet from Bentaleb, and it's 2 1 in the 67th minute. Bentaleb has changed the whole complexion of the game with an absolute blinder. What a goal that was! Nigeria 2, Algeria 1. Ben Taleb with all the space in the world and just smashed it into the roof of the net. Goalkeeper unable to do anything about that. Well, that changes the whole look of this game now. Just when you thought Nigeria were in cruise control and in full command of this game. Algeria have struck. Two one and still twenty three minutes plus stoppage time to go. And that has suddenly made the stadium a bit quieter around here. Algeria back in the game. To Moses, brought down, no foul. Algeria with uh, some momentum now. Nigeria will uh, be feeling a bit more pressure. Two one, and Algeria. Still in this game. Right wing. Feel the tension in the stadium now. It has changed. It's not so uh, relaxed anymore. And Algeria are actually carrying much of the play. Middle of the park. Right wing now, Riziti, high deep ball, nobody there in a white shirt. Nigeria, still trying to keep it composed. Definite foul. So a bullet goal 
from Ben Taleb has brought Algeria back in the game. One result I didn't give you, I don't think, yet. Yeah, Uganda beat the Congo 1 0 earlier in Group E. So Uganda with a big win. Two at the edge of the area. Victor Moses, the ever present, loses it. Good work from Moses to get it back into the left channel. Offside. Burkina Faso have just taken the lead against Kate Verdi in Group D. So, I've never been to the World Cup, nor have Kate Verde. Mali Gabon coming up uh, in about an hour's time. And Morocco and the Ivory Coast, the late kickoff. So, Nigeria. They're going to have to sweat it out for the last 20 minutes or so before they can celebrate three points. Some games going on in Europe at the moment. Georgia lead Moldova 1-0. Austria and Ireland 0-0 after 26 minutes. Croatia lead Iceland 1-0. As the throw comes in, edge of the area, and it's fired wide. More nervous moments for the Nigerians, who appeared to be in full control until that bullet of a goal from Ben Taleb. defensive formation and they will try and find a way through these Nigerian green shirts into the area still going shots blocked deflected and will run out of play been much improved since the restart on side the handball was close wasn't it there was a lot of appeals from the Algerians and to be honest it looked like it was handball but the referee having none of it and in the end uh, of all that it's a corner kick we get a replay. Driven in, headed up in the air. Keeper comes for it and makes the catch. It's all getting a bit nervous now. confidence and fluidity in their game still plenty of time to salvage a point at least out on the left wing chest it down a chance a shot and it's wide more pressure from Algeria Brahimi couldn't finish it the Nigerians are looking rather nervous at the moment. They've just avoided a penalty appeal. We're going 
going to have a substitution. Coming on is uh, Ahmed Musa. Uh, making way is Iwobi. So Musa comes on. Iwobi makes way as uh, Gurnock Roar shores up his defense. Should be in for a great finale here. Nigeria on the attack. They can't squeeze their way through. Out in midfield. Free kick to Algeria. That's a summary. Bentaleb on 67. Desperate. And, uh, goal score, trying to do something even more magical than his first goal, but not to be inside 15 minutes to go. Well, Algeria at 2 0 down at half time would likely be very satisfied if they can come away with a point from this one. Keeps the group tight as well. Nigeria can hang on to win, they would really be in command. Although, remember, we've only played two. This is the second round of the six matches in these pool stages. So plenty of football to be played. There's John obi Mikel. The captain. Brought down. Moses takes it short. One, two, doesn't quite happen. For Algeria. Algeria just trying to keep control of things. Back to the goalkeeper. Poor clearance. It's offside. Both these teams went to the World Cup in Brazil. Nigeria beat by Germany. An extra time. up with that one and it's taken out of trouble by ZT. Can't keep it in play as Mandy could keep the ball in. Moses. Probably Nigeria's best player today so far. Hasn't. It's been quite a few whistles, but no, not a, a dirty game. Uh, two or three yellow cards. No real moments of controversy. Maybe that penalty appeal for Algeria. It's kept in. Play continues. The Algerians thought it had gone out. Nigeria have it back with 11 minutes to go. 2 0, Burkina Faso lead Cape Verde. Algeria on the attack, it's broken up in the nick of time. Great work there from Ikong. 
Haven't heard his name that much today, but he's gone about his business quietly. Foul given to Algeria at the edge of the area. As the Algerians begin their final push over these last 10, 12, 13 minutes to force an equalizer. Febuli will come on as George Lakins makes another change. So a free kick in a very good position for Algeria. Everybody feeling the tension now. Six players in the wall, two of them Algerians. Seven players in that wall. Algeria trying to tie the match and, oh, it's just wide. Wasn't far away. Took a deflection. It's a corner kick. The Algerians look a different team in this second half. Floated high and deep. And nobody can get on the end of it. That will be a goal kick. Kina Faso drew their first game and they would move level on points with South Africa on four at the top of Group D if they win today. In fact, they could go ahead on goal difference if uh, they maintain a two-goal advantage over Cape Verde. South Africa beat Senegal today, 2-1. Uganda at top of Group E on four. Egypt three, Ghana one. Egypt, Ghana play tomorrow. Congo on no points. As John Obi Mikel comes off uh, to be replaced by Nadidi. Becoming a big factor now. Fire down towards the Algerian half. Collision that goes Nigeria's way. with the same confidence in this second half. Played square, Victor Moses is there. Trying to work the one, two, Algeria intercept and come forward. Run into a wall of green shirts though. Down the wing, good touch inside. Play tightening up. Good scrap. Moses has it. Moses again. Moses running at the defense. Still Nigeria have the ball. This is a good spell of possession for them. Swinging it onto the right wing. Edge of the area. One more goal for Nigeria would likely do it. Down the left flank. And the goal oh, just put out of play there. Musa, the substitute, the number seven. The flag was up anyway. It wouldn't have counted, but suspense and some excitement for this uh, home crowd. There's some Algerians here as well. And of course, a partisan Nigerian crowd.
Just over five minutes to go, plus whatever injury time we're given. Nigeria desperately need a draw out of this game. A defeat today would mean there would be five points already behind Nigeria after just two matches. That is how important these last minutes are for both teams. Nigeria will be favorites to qualify if they can hang on and win this game. Nigeria, their World Cup campaign is shaky at best at the moment. And as he takes a knock, Substitutions. Coming on there is uh, Abed. Nigeria can see another free kick. More time off the clock. Taker looks for a target. Goes short with it. Looking for Moses again. Still bouncing around a shot. Oh, it's just scuffed there at the last minute by the substitute Ahmed Musa. Making an impact as the crowd feel the tension. Three minutes to go. Cameroon and Zambia will be watching this closely as well. Has a strong impact on their ambitions. Nigeria, though, have regained their composure in these last 10 minutes. Moses comes charging forward. Good ball. have lost their way. Nigeria again in the ascendancy. Moses everywhere on the pitch at the moment. Free kick. More time off the clock. It's going to plan for Nigeria. Victor Moses, my man of the match. Still time though for Algeria to salvage something. Might be a yellow, no. We're into the 89th minute. Well, that's a bit of a sloppy pass, but uh, Mboli's able to sweep it left to his uh, fullback. Nigeria finding it tough to make progress. Balls with uh, Febuli. Go with the long ball. Easily cleared. Play continues. Crazy stuff here. Bit of a debate there as uh, 
Ian Acho uh, thought he'd won the ball back fair, fairly and one thing he succeeded in doing was wasting some some seconds by throwing the ball away and we've only got about 30 left in the normal time Algeria desperate times for them Nigeria will be happy to just slow this right down and maybe even carry it to the corner. No, they square it. Oh, a chance. Oh, it's put over the bar. What a chance for Hianachu to really finish this game off. A golden chance. Four minutes of added time. Four minutes for Algeria to get something out of this tie. Cameroon and Zambia finished one apiece earlier today. That game has not been finished for that long. And I'm sure both those sets of teams and fans will be watching about what's going on here. Oh, it's a bit soft there, climbing on the defender. Bunaja, guilty of the foul. The one thing, the referee has been consistent. He's called it tight, but he's been consistently uh, tight with those decisions throughout the match. Strong head forward. Nigeria looking for some joy down the left wing. That's a nice touch. Curled into the box. Nigeria win it back. And uh, Algeria are stretched here with only two players back. Four on two for the Super Eagles. Victor Moses, it's in, that will do it. 3-1, Victor Moses has finished this game and put it to bed for Nigeria, who will go on to top the group with six points. And that sends the crowd into raptures here at the uh, Goodwill at Pabio Stadium. Victor Moses, the man himself, the star of the match, has uh, wrapped this one up for Nigeria with a close range finish. And it's three goals to one. The Algerians were pushing desperately for the equalizer. Nicely played across the box by the substitute Ahmed Musa. Victor Moses took his time and then drilled it home. Great pass. That will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nigeria will finish the second round of matches on six points. Cameroon in second on two. Zambia and Algeria on one. Well, 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 just in case you didn't know, the next matches are not until the end of August. And Nigeria will play Cameroon. Zambia will play Algeria. And how much importance already now riding on that game. Well, Nigeria will go on to win this game. And in my opinion, they fully deserve the victory. Algeria paying for a very bad first half and looking to make it more now. Played square. It's broken up. No penalty, no foul, no nothing. Algeria bring it away with 30 seconds to go. This game is almost going into the history books. The Nigerian stays down. I don't think it's going to make any difference. Struggling to his feet there is Onazi. The Nigerians have been very, very good today. Controlled the first half. It's all over. It's all over here. Nigeria have defeated Algeria three goals to one after a thrilling contest. 
that was decided by two goals by Victor Moses, the man of the match for Nigeria. And they now take a stranglehold in Group B with this victory here this afternoon. That moves them up to six points, a goal difference of plus three. Cameroon and Zambia finish one apiece, so Cameroon are second in Group B on two points, but already four behind Nigeria, and they will play on August 28th. Algeria and Zambia now with one point apiece, and uh, with it all to do to qualify for the World Cup. A very disappointing result for Algeria, who came here with high expectations, but it wasn't to be as Nigeria have outplayed them. Mali and Gabon play in, a, in about 40 minutes time in Group C. Morocco play the Ivory Coast also today in Group C. That's a late kickoff at uh, nine o'clock European time, eight o'clock GMT. In Group D, South Africa beat Senegal 2-1. So South Africa on four points, currently top of that group. Senegal, say, Senegal stay on three. Burkina Faso lead Cape Verde two goals to nil late in the first half as we see some of the stats from this match. Possession in favor of Nigeria. Shots, well, 